What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks AAF. Now, I realized that I announced this week of AAF content, and the one thing I really haven't done for those of you that aren't really 100% familiar with this league is tell you exactly what this league is about and why it came about and what it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is... What is the AAF? Let's get it. So first and foremost, let's go over who founded the league. The founders of the league are Charlie Ebersol and Bill Polian. Now what the AAF is, is is an alternate professional football league for uh, fans of football to watch after the NFL season is over. This is not like the XFL. The XFL is a league that is in direct competition with the NFL, but the AAF is actually connected in some ways, in some ways, to the NFL. A lot of uh, former players or executives in this league, such as Troy Polamalu and Justin Tuck, are both executives in the Alliance of American Football. Now, everybody's probably asking, what makes it different? You know, what is different between the AAF and the NFL? So first and foremost, instead of a 53-man roster, the AAF has a 50-man roster. And today, they narrowed it down to the 52-man roster. That is eventually going to have to be down to a 50-man roster. And a little bit of a rant, if you're watching this. You know, I commented on something the other day in a Facebook group. And they asked, you know, are you know, the teams in the AAF going to carry four quarterbacks, because if they are, that's kind of ridiculous. And I was like, yeah, I agree. Uh, the AAF has a 50-man roster, and I would assume they're going to keep as many quarterbacks as they see fit. And then I had, like, two guys, like, one guy say, do you always get butt hurt when you answer these questions? Like, I'm not even butt hurt, you know? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just answering your question. And another thing, like, this other guy, you know, he's all up in my case. He's like, he doesn't know anything. Like, 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 all this takes, like, to look this shit up is a quick Google search. It's not that hard. But, you know, um, that is, that is off topic. So, anyway, yeah, instead of the traditional 53-man rosters, there's going to be a 50-man roster. The idea of the AAF is that it's going to be a faster, smoother game with less timeouts. One of those being no television timeouts and 60% Fewer com uh, commercials with the league aiming at an approximate run time of 150 minutes um, down from the NFL's 180 minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, no television timeouts. I could deal with that. I think that uh, a quicker, faster game is something that uh, football fans have been kind of after for a while, and I think that uh, they're giving that to us, and I think that that's awesome. Other things that are different in the AAF is that there are no extra points. So kickers kind of lose their luster a little bit. So they're only going to be fe featured in the uh, field goal game because there is no extra point. Every team must go for a two point conversion after scoring a touchdown straight up like street two. You remember, you remember playing NFL street and you got the option to either go for one at the five or go for two at the ten. How many of y'all actually went for one? None of y'all. Y'all all went for two. So no TV timeouts. Everybody must attempt a two-point conversion. There will be no extra points. There will also be no kickoffs. Um, odd overtime periods and after scores will begin on each team's 25-yard line. So this is how the overtime works. It uh, begins on each team's own 25-yard line. Um... The same as touchbacks in the NFL, if an outside kick is happening, um, a team can keep possession of the ball by attempting a scrimmage play from their own 35-yard line and getting at least 12 yards. So, you know, I kind of read that verbatim for what it says. Let me kind of explain what this means. So there will be no kickoffs. Um, there will be no kickoffs, and each uh, drive for a team is going to be starting at um, their own 25-yard line. Um, and the onside kick rule is something that I like. A team can keep possession of the ball by attempting a scrimmage play from their own 35-yard line and gaining at least 12 yards. It's interesting, you know, with no kickoffs, you know, you don't have an onside kick. Um, a play from the 35-yard line and gaining at least 12 yards, that's super, super unique. And I'm uh, super, I'm really intrigued to know how many people are just going to try to do that. You know, maybe people are just going to always try and keep the ball 
and try to get that scrimmage play because gaining 12, 12 yards, man, I mean that that can't be can't be too difficult from thirty five yard line. That's that's interesting. You know the onside. I didn't even know that 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 uh, replaces the onside kick. So that's that's pretty interesting. I'm excited to see how that works. The play clock will only run 30 seconds, which is 10 seconds shy of the NFL, and the NFL already has tons of delay of game penalties. So um, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how, you know, teams are going to run their offense because you'd have to imagine they have to run, you know, some no huddle because a 30-second play clock, that's pretty short, you know. It's not a lot of time to go in there, hear it on the headset, call it, clap, you know, by that time, there's already five seconds on the play clock. So that's going to be interesting. So only a 30-second play clock um, for the AAF as opposed to a 40-second play clock in the NFL. As far as coaches' challenge goes, they get two per team. Um, and the only replays, new challenges, the last two minutes of either half or overtime period as they are automatic. So that's the same thing as the NFL, one of the uh, rare similarities um, outside organizations will handle head safety protocols. Playoffs will consist of four of the top, uh, will consist of four teams. And, oh, sorry, excuse me. The playoffs will consist of four teams, the top two teams from each conference. So those are the rules of the American Football Alliance, or the Alliance of American Football. I, I just think the... American Football Alliance sounds a lot better of the Alliance of American Football, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below as far as that goes. So, the rules do differ quite a bit uh, from this league to the NFL. And a question that a lot of people, a lot of people are asking, especially in the Facebook groups I'm in, is what is up with the TV deal? So, the first week of the season, which is going to be um, next week, so next... Yeah, next week. Uh, I think it's March. I mean, not March 9th. February 9th is the official kickoff day for the AAF. And rumor has it that all the games are going to be on CBS that day. So uh, four games on the slate are all going to be on CBS. There's also CBS Sports Network that will have some games later on in the season. There's also going to be an AAF app where you can catch every single game um, live. On the app and I think they're still trying to develop the app a little bit kind of trying to fix uh, some bugs as far as that goes um, from what I'm taking from the AAF the AAF is a people league the AAF is the fans league as far as the NFL being just a big corporate giant the AAF is truly football reimagined for football fans everywhere and Bill Polian a guy that has rivaled Vince McMahon before of course would just start up this football league a year before the XFL and at this point the XFL should almost not even debut because this AAF league I think is going to be doing big and great things. It's a fan league and I think fans from across the world are going to enjoy watching this type of football. And that was what is the AAF? What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Treve Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Treve Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button, click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel five days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them to just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.